I'm Chef Brendan Collins. This is Curse Kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to not f up poutine. All right, guys, so we're on a new laptop today. I accidentally on purpose smashed my old one. So uh, I'm using my daughter's nice little pretty blue one. Uh, let's see what we've got today. What are you making? Josh, I'm making some poutine. Some have poutine? Have you ever had poutine before? No, but it, it's like a Canadian type hearty meal. Frozen French so fries, which I don't mind, French actually, French in a pinch. They're pretty good in a pinch. So I've never seen anyone do French fries in a microwave before. That's a, that's a new one for me. I wonder if that technique actually works. Yeah. How do you say that? What? Poutine. Yeah. So what's the, what's the next thing? What is this? We're gonna what gravy, has she found here? Um, on top, and then we'll put some cheese on top of that. Is that the right type of gravy for it? Beef gravy? Yeah. That is definitely not the right type of gravy for it. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, 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 no. So we've got canned gravy and we've right got American cheese? cheese. It's cheese, Josh. Mm. That looks like absolute We're gonna call shit. this Southern style poutine. See, we do chili fries, French fries, chili and cheese. They do French fries, gravy and cheese. Okay, right. so poutine yeah, might this, be the national dish of Canada. And I'm pretty nice. sure they don't use canned gravy and American cheese. That's actually pretty good. Really? Yes. That's actually pretty this good. That's good. I guess when you eat shit, everyday shit starts no, to taste I've never good. heard of that in my life. All right, enough of that. This might be the worst version of a poutine that I've ever seen. Poutine done correctly is absolutely delicious. It's actually a little favorite in our household. I'm a father, I have kids. It's very quick, easy uh, filling snack. So let me show you how to do it. Let me show you how to do it correctly. All right, mama, let's show you how to do a poutine. Go over to the oven. I like a nice hot oven because I want my French fries to be crispy. So 400 degree oven. Obviously make sure that they're hot and crispy. Crisp is the most important thing when it comes to French fries. Okay, we're gonna season these. I like to season nice and high so I get a nice even distribution of salt. Um, I always like to use a little bit of parchment paper on my, um, on my trays, and then this way it's much easier to transfer these from here to here without creating a giant mess. Here are what we call cheese curds. If you can't find cheese curds, because they're not all that easy to find, you can always use mozzarella. Just, and then just dice it up and cube it up. And then what we want to do is just want to evenly sp sprinkle this out. If they're a bit big, you can always break them down. You want to be liberal with them. You want to give, make sure you give in plenty. Uh, it really adds to the, the changing of texture. So you get this kind of like gooey cheese with crispy French fries and then a really awesome umami gravy. So this gravy I made, if you don't have time to make it, the packet gravy is perfectly acceptable. But one thing that I would say is when you're making packet gravy, don't use water, use beef stock or chicken stock. If you're making you know, a turkey gravy or a brown gravy, always use beef stock. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour this over and get it nice even like that. Then we're gonna return this back to the oven and give it, I would say four, between four and six minutes. So those cheese curds get really nice and soft and melty. We really want them to be stringy as you're eating them. Hey, listen, I get it. I'm a chef, I'm a dad, my kid, uh, my kids, they don't, they don't like eating restaurant food, you know? They like French fries and cheese. My kid for years would eat pasta with butter. God knows how that became part of the, uh, the, the diet for children, but it's not always easy to find time to make good food. This is delicious, it's simple, it's uh, three steps. French fries in the oven, make a little gravy, put some cheese on it, put it back in the oven. It's a piece of cake, really decent food for the kids. And for, and for adults. And uh, you know, what I like to do is uh, make a poutine and crack a beer. But I think most Western nations have some form of poutine in their uh, arsenal. In England, we have uh, we, what we call chips and gravy. Um, obviously you guys have, uh, the, like she said in the video, you've got the- Chili fries, French fries, chili and cheese. Canadians really take it to another level with poutine. It really is a uh, sort of a classic dish. I think it might be the national dish of Canada, probably taken from the French. It's really, really a great dish. And uh, when done correctly, not with fucking canned gravy and fucking American cheese, it is really, really, really delicious. Okay, so 
Poutine should be ready right now. What you're really looking for is a really nice, melted, soft, gooey cheese curds. Hell yeah. All right, there we go. So that is what you call a poutine. I recommend if you've got kids to not put the fucking parsley on. Uh, anybody who uh, has got kids will know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. However, if you've got your mates over, give them a little sprinkle, you know? You could even be like that other idiot on social media and do that. See, look at those cheese curds. That's what you're looking for. I wish you could smell this actually. It actually smells really, really, really good. The beefiness of the gravy combined with the, uh, the, the dairy from the cheese. It's amazing. And that parsley, that parsley just made it Michelin star. And that's how to not fuck up poutine. Zero family members were harmed during the making of this poutine. On to the next one.